Would you like to know how much it costs to absolutely max out your account instantly if you just happen to have all the money in the world to be able to do so? Well guys, I don't know why I did more math. My brain almost died the last time I did a video like this. But you know what they say, curiosity killed the Kairos, or something like that. Now, before we jump into today's video, I wanted to give everybody a huge <laughs> thank you so much for your response to me going full time on YouTube, guys. It has been absolutely crazy, and I just am so appreciative of your response for me actually trying to make my dream a reality. Not only were there an incredible amount of comments of people positively supporting me, and that in itself was seriously touching and <laughs> like really made my wife and I just feel really humbled. But there were also lots of people that actually took the time and the money to actually support my channel through Kairos Time Merch merchandise, becoming a sponsor on YouTube, Patreon, or even by subscribing on Twitch. Additionally, I really appreciate the people saying that they were willing to support my channel through free means like watching all of my videos or even watching at least 30 seconds of advertisements on my videos. I would like to dedicate this video to you guys. You know who you are and you're awesome. Now, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and find the cost if you just want to straight up max out your account from the store in Brawl Stars. Now, I'm going to be explaining how much it costs. Make sure you watch this whole video if you're thinking of doing something like this because I may just save you 175 bucks. I mean, if you have the kind of money to just drop that into Brawl Stars like that, you, that's probably not a big concern of yours. I mean, either way, it's gonna go towards development of the game. Never mind, just don't worry about it. You can just skip that part of the video if you want. I'm all about Brawl Stars getting developed more. <laughs> Additionally, I'm gonna talk about how I would do it if I wanted to max out an account and I had the funds to justify doing that in a really quick means. And that might end up saving you even more money if you're thinking of doing this. Now. I imagine that most people that are watching this video are not going to be actually doing this. I think most people that are watching this video are either free to play players or are the light spenders who are willing to spend up to $50 to kind of help with the development of the game. And you're probably just curious about the actual number, which I, I was too, that's why I, I did all that math. It was so much math. But in a future video, I'm also going to be calculating the cost for those medium spenders who want to max out their account quickly through a combination of Robo Rumble tickets and key doublers without spending the big bucks to max out their account instantly by purchasing mega boxes like we're gonna be doing in this video. In that future video, I'll also cover how long it would take for such a spender to actually max out their account. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, before I start this video, I need to recap a recent video that I did where I calculated how long it takes for a free to play player to max out their account. In that video, I did a lot of math that is actually going to be the foundation for a lot of the math that I'm going to be doing in this video. So make sure you check that one out if you have not already. In that video, I covered mathematical breakdowns for the drop rates of gold and power points as well as those bonus drops like gems, tickets, and key doublers. I also talked about how those bonus drops actually transform into more boxes, which then turn into more bonus drops, which turn into more boxes, which then turns into more, you, you get the idea. I also explained the best way for you to save time in upgrading your account by maximizing your star power drops from boxes. And of course, I gave an actual number on how long it takes for you to max out your account without spending any money in the game in days. By the way, someone pointed out my, the biggest fail from that video that I forgot to mention, and that is the one free daily box in the shop. Ah, uh, the math was so good. And I forgot the free box every single day. Oh man. If you watch that video, the number of days that I put in that video actually decreases by about 105 days or um, three and a half months because of the daily free box that you get. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and start off by talking about today's video. First of all, we have to actually pay attention to the different costs of gems, okay? And I'm gonna be going to use United States prices. And the most efficient way to spend your money on gems is going to be that one deal where it's $99.99 .99 for 1,850 gems. That's right, one big old haul of gems. From the last video, we learned that it takes approximately 2,728 boxes for you to max out your account. Now, key doublers and tickets in Robo Rumble are going to be the most cost efficient use of your gems. This video, though, is not the most cost efficient way for you to use your gems. This is 
is how much it costs for you to max out your account as soon as possible without having to grind out Robo Rumble. We'll talk about key doublers and tickets more in my other video where we're going to be covering medium spenders and how much it costs for them to max out their account. For this number, all we're doing is buying mega boxes. We need to open up 2,728 boxes, which is the equivalent of 273 mega boxes. Those 273 mega boxes times the 80 gems that it costs to get them, and we get a total of 21,840 gems to max out your account. Now, if we divide that by 1,850, we get for every haul of gems, and we get up to 11.8 hauls of gems. So, we will buy 11 hauls of gems, which comes up to 20,350 gems, but that will only get us 254 mega boxes or 2,540 regular boxes, which is 188 boxes short of a maxed account. But by opening those 2,540 boxes, you should also get more gems to open up more boxes. We already calculated the drop rate for those gems in my other video, which comes up to 0.37 gem per box. And with 2,540 boxes at 0.37 gems per box, we should have 940 gems, which we can then use to buy 11 more mega boxes or 110 boxes. From those boxes, we should get 40 more gems. And also guys, I have not been talking about the remainder gems for this, but I am keeping track of them. And at this point, you should have enough spare gems to actually purchase one more mega box as well as have 50 gems left over. Now at this point, you will have opened 2,660 boxes and have about 50-ish gems left over. But we are still about 68 boxes short from maxing out an account. Now if you're actually doing this, you have a choice to make, okay? So first of all, you are going to have plenty of tickets and plenty of key doublers on your account that if you just play the game a little bit, you'll be able to easily max out your account with that $1,100 that you use to purchase all of those halls of gems. But if you really, 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 really want to just max out the account as soon as you possibly can, you can also buy a bucket of gems and a satchel of gems and a pouch of gems and a fistful of gems to finally max out your account with a total of $1,138. Which is not so cheap in comparison to Clash Royale. Just putting that out there. Like, ridiculously not so cheap. <laughs> but wait, there is one critically important thing that you need to do to make this happen, or you may end up spending an extra $175 to max out your account. You may be tempted to kind of save time and just drop a ton of money on gems, then open up a ton of boxes, and then upgrade all of your characters. If you do this, you will have zero chances of getting free star power drops from boxes, and that will lead to a longer and more expensive way of progressing your account. So here's what you want to do. You want to open about 50 mega boxes, then check all of your brawlers. Upgrade them as much as you can and focus on one brawler at a time. You're going to want to focus on the brawler that has the most power points at that time. Your goal is to get one brawler to level 9 as soon as possible so that you can get their star power from a box so you do not have to purchase it. Now until you have one brawler at level 9, you're going to go back and forth between opening boxes and upgrading them so that you can upgrade a brawler to level 9 as fast as possibly can. Once you have at least one brawler to level 9, you can go back to just opening straight up boxes until you get that brawler's star power. Then before you open up any more boxes, you want to go and actually upgrade another brawler to level 9. Then once you have at least one other brawler to level 9, you keep on opening up boxes till you get another lucky star power. And you get the idea, you keep on going back to opening boxes once you get their star power, until you have a majority of your brawlers being maxed out with some of them at level 9 and a remainder of a ton of gold left over that you can then use to purchase star powers in the shop as they show up over the next couple of days. Now I explained how I calculate bonus drops on my other video, and if you don't believe that I did it right, then you can just go check out that video, because I'm not going to explain it here again. And it was already a nightmare to explain once before. <laughs> also, there's something weird about this video. I'm assuming those 21 brawlers, which includes those brawlers that you have to actually push up to at least 3,000 trophies to unlock. Like, I'm calculating the cost to max out your account with 21 brawlers without earning any free boxes, even though technically you will have been earning some free boxes, at least to push your account to 3k to unlock all those league reward brawlers. And I know that's a little weird, but I couldn't think of the best way to try and make that applicable, if that makes sense. If anything, 
You put all of that money onto your account for all those gems, and then you push up to 3k. Then you spend the gems to max out your account, and whatever gems you have left over, you can just buy skins with, because you've got unlimited amounts of money at this point. At least you probably should have if you're going to be doing something like this. <laughs> or you just really love Supercell and really want to support the game, which I can back that. Now, if I had limitless amounts of money and I could justify dropping a grand on a game, this is not how I would do it. And I'm going to explain how I would do it. Which, just to be clear, I only just became a full-time YouTuber and there's no way that I could justify doing something like this. But if somebody does want to do this and you want to record it and send it to me, I would love to make a video on it. So... Yeah, let me know. <laughs> but if I were considering to do something like this, this is how I would do it, okay? I would go and I'd buy $900 worth of gems through nine halls of gems. I would then follow the instructions that I gave in this video, and then after I was out of gems, I would have opened up 208 mega boxes or 2,080 boxes. From there, I would have earned 666 tickets. Wait, is that right? Yep, 666 tickets. Okay. By the way, if you're curious, this is what I actually just typed. <laughs> and on top of those tickets, I would have approximately 780 gems and approximately 14,800 key doublers. I would spend those gems on mega boxes because if I'm dropping that kind of money on the game, I'm not going to be wasting any more time on Robo Rumble than I need to be. Then for those tickets, I would pay somebody to grind Robo Rumble for me because I've got better things to do with than, than grind out Robo Rumble in my rich life. Oh wait, that's against Supercell's terms of service. Just kidding guys, I would grind out those Robo Rumble tickets for the next four hours at 20 tickets a pop. And of course, earning max keys every single time because I'm OP. And by the time that I finished Robo Rumble, all of my key doublers would have been converted to boxes at this point, and then I would have some more spare gems tickets and key doublers which I would then continue this pattern over and over and over again until I was out of Robo Rumble tickets which by the way would take about another hour. So at this point after spending $900 and 5 hours of grinding Robo Rumble the majority of my brawlers would be maxed some of them would be level 9 and I would have plenty of gold that I could then use as a remainder to actually get the star powers from the shops when they actually became available in the shop. So we just saved over $200 just because we were willing to grind out five hours in Robo Rumble. That's 40 bucks an hour. So if you're making more money than 40 bucks an hour, I would really like to know what you're doing for a living because that would be great. Here's some interesting facts. Now, based off of the estimate of about $1,137 to max out your account for 21 brawlers, which is the number of brawlers in the game right now, we can estimate that the cost to max out every new brawler is going to be about $54 if you have zero boxes when you unlock the brawler. And most likely, if you actually do have a maxed out account, you'll have plenty of boxes saved up to actually help out with it, but you still kind of get the idea. And another interesting thing to pay attention to is that the bags of coins, you can spend gems on just coins in the game, and bags of coins are actually technically more worth it if you need coins to max out your account if you do not care about the bonus drops that you could get spending gems to buy mega boxes. Now the numbers here are 6.6 .6 gold per gem for mega boxes and 8.6 gold per gem for a bag of coins. But for most people that are out there, the most cost efficient way for you to actually get gold on your account is by purchasing key doublers or Robo Rumble tickets. Key doublers come out to be 10.6 gold per gem and Robo Rumble tickets at 32 keys per ticket, which is max time that you can get comes out to 12.8 gold per gem, which is almost double the gold that you'll get by just purchasing mega boxes. And on top of that, if you do care about bonus drops, including more gems, tickets, and key doublers that you would get by purchasing those mega boxes, it actually comes out to be about 9.0 gold per gem. So personally, I would never just straight up spend my gems to purchase gold in the shop. The reason why this is true is because once you have unlocked all the power points on your account in order to max out all of your brawlers, the power point drops that you would normally get from your boxes are transformed doubly into gold, which means that that every box that you open up after that point will give you an average of about 53 gold per box. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are the kind of person that stuck around through the entire video and listened to all of the bit of math and you actually paid attention, big props to you. I 
don't know if I could have done that. I think the math is hard enough to just do, let alone just listen to. I probably would have sat through the video and just waited to hear what I wanted to hear. <laughs> but if you did, props to you, you are OP. Also, before I end this video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you that are going the extra mile to help support my channel by either watching all of my videos or becoming a YouTuber Patreon sponsor, subscribing to me on Twitch, or purchasing Kairos Time merchandise. Thank you guys for the extra effort in helping make my dream possible. And for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.